today we're talking about black magic. Oh, Talk crap. Like, let me know when you're ready. You ready now? to test uh, the Airy Alexa versus the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera. <laughs> Sweet. It's hot. <laughs> Is it all blown out? <laughs> you, you put them on? Baller. All right, do it again or what? Oh, screw that thing, cut it. Probably gonna be at And three, two, one, let's go. Cool. I'm gonna do from the front now. So Brandon, so far, what do you think? I mean, we already shot inside, we shot outside. Right. What, what are the key differences that you see so far? And let's just talk, not even aesthetics, as of course we're gonna see this on the screen, but like more of, you know, holding it, functionality, what, you know, what do you think? So yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell a massive difference in the weight and just like the functionality of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, because the Black Magic is so small and lightweight, yeah. I feel like I can kind of move around. I never feel like I need to hand it off to someone like after right. I get a shot. Also, if I need to get like a couple more angles, I feel like because it's so much lighter, I can probably run around and get those shots quicker yeah. and get more shots in like a less amount of time. However, I will say that the EVF on the Alexa is amazing. It's cool. definitely something that I'm jealous of 
um, being able to have another point of contact, one helps to keep the camera actually more right, steady. Right. Along with that weight, it's kind of a catch-22. So having that extra weight makes it more steady, but having that EVF gives you that extra point. And I feel like I pull focus better with the EVF than I do using either one of these monitors. Well, one thing that I noticed right away, right off the bat, is that I have a bunch of 128 gig cards, meaning that I'm gonna have to swap out every like 20 minutes of, of, yeah. of runtime. I see you have a one terabyte on there, yeah. or, and you can go, I'm guessing you can go up to two terabytes or something yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, really, any SSD that's compatible, you can use, so like even Samsung makes a two terabyte version of this you could use. That's sick, so you can be shooting all day. And then like, this battery that's 150 watt is gonna last this thing about maybe an hour. Yeah, uh, and your battery, how long? And I could probably shoot about close to five to six hours. That see, that's insane, and that's powering everything, right? Right, it's powering the monitor, the camera, and then it actually has an extra USB port on here. So if I wanted to charge my phone, I could do that too, and I probably yeah. still wouldn't lose any time. That's crazy. Christian, you rolling? The first thing you definitely want to do whenever you get a camera like this is check if it has film in it. Oh crap, it has film in it. You really can't see that thing. You gotta point it to the light to see if you can see inside. Pull it out to see if it's still good. It's still good? I don't know how to use this. 